Hey, mister. Hey mister, we're here at the Talent Campus. I'm with Michelle Weihag from Arte and we're going to ask him some questions about Chris Media, your work and yeah, your opinion about Chris Media, social media. Um, we've prepared something here. Um, the white, white ones are like nice questions, easy questions. The red ones are provocative, difficult questions and yeah. What is your opinion about the Facebook Timeline. I think I'm very, um, I'm very reluctant to use Facebook in general. Um, I'm, I'm concerned with the invasion of privacy. I mean, this is something everyone talks about. But I, I have a Facebook account, but I'm not active on it because I feel, I feel the potential of being betrayed uh, constant. I don't trust it. And I have a reluctance with the concept of friends on Facebook. I have friends in real life and it's very different from my friends on Facebook. Uh, so it is, it is something that I feel is outdated in a way. And I feel there are, there are better ways of connecting with each other than through Facebook. So for me personally, um, the Facebook timeline is just an added item on the list of, uh, of things that to me are problematic with the whole idea of Facebook. Yeah. Another one? I take the red ones, I prefer the, okay. the more difficult ones. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Social media is an illusion. It is destroying our communication. It is an illusion that we talk to people via Facebook or Twitter. We become more isolated. What do you think about that? I disagree. Uh, I disagree with that, although I just said that Facebook is not my favorite uh, way of communicating with each other. Um, I disagree because Twitter, for instance, I'm a big Twitter user. I really like Twitter because it's uh, not invasive, it's not intrusive, still, and it has a, an immediacy and it's a congeniality which I really like. And I feel close to people that I've been connecting with on Twitter. Um, to the point where we actually met in real life and some of them we we've become friends and a couple of them we work together um, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that through Facebook for some reason it's strange because Twitter is much shorter it had there's less information about the people we we um, connect with but at the same time it feels closer more intimate so I I'm the s social media from the question I think is a great thing but I think we're only still in the first phase of it and Facebook is the first phase and I think it will be soon outdated in the way we know it today Another one okay, this one What are the cons of being a multi-talent? Oh, I would. I mean, the pros are are obvious. Um, I love the fact that we are living in an age when we can be so many different personas at the same time. We can we we can basically choose to be whoever we want uh, virtually, but also physically in a way, and. Um, being a multi-talented artist, uh, writing and, and working on in the realm of game design or storytelling, script writing, I only see pros. There are no cons. Well, the con that may be is the fact that you you become a sort of a dilettante and you you remain superficial in everything. But I see so many people also wanting to be artists and that don't have what it takes to become one and that are not really relevant as an artist. There are some amazing people who are true artists, but it still remains the exception more than the rule. So being trivial or being um, superficial or not, not having what it takes, the talent that it takes to be a true artist, is something that, that exists in a, in a single media. Um, uh, discipline. So, um, 
multi multi talent in a multimedia transmedia world uh, does not no I don't see any added cons but I'll think about it. <laughs> A last question. I'll take a white one this one. No, I, I prefer the red. What is your secret of working so much and staying alive? This is very personal. Um, I think it's part of the of being multi-talented. I think one needs today to make sure you uh, you preserve a, a space which is just for you, just your own. And it's important for me in my life to uh, make sure I have a space that I do not share with uh, the, all the networks, all the people, and uh, that is a very intimate, very closed um, garden where I can go back to when I need to and just. Uh, uh, keep my uh, sanity so I'm not going to share it with you <laughs> because it would it would defeat my purpose but um, I think it's a question of balance and not being obsessed the the new media world that we're in and the multiple media the transmedia world is incredibly time-consuming and it sucks you into um, uh, situations and processes where you can't get out of it's like those games that we play you know on, online etc you get when you start looking at your uh, you go on Twitter or on Facebook you can spend days on them and and you just forget about living actually living your life so I'm very very much aware of the uh, necessity to um, have a true physical uh, dimension in my life. I have children that I love and I have friends that I'm very close to and it's uh, just very important in my life and keeping that balance between the simplicity of the physical experience of life as well as exploring all these new frontiers that are mostly connected to virtual dimensions of reality that balance is a challenge in itself and I'm trying to keep it. Thank you very much for the Thank interview. You. Thank you.